Okay, y'all. So I'm back. Y'all, I downloaded this car launcher app and then went in there and started actually playing with the settings. This thing is perfect now for me. Look, I have found out. I, re I figured out how to do the wallpapers, everything. But let's back up. First of all, a lot of y'all were asking about the buttons on the steering wheel. They do work. So you see, they do work. Um, volume, all that stuff, they do work. Okay. Number two, um, someone was asking. I'm sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. Someone asked something else about it. It was the volume. Oh, the heated seats. Turn it down. Turn it off. You do retain. There's your heated and cooled. I don't know. I don't think any of y'all got cool seats, but if you do, there's cooling. The cooling option as well. Um, if you have heated with steering wheel and stuff. Oh, I hit the thing accidentally. If you have the heated steering wheel, that's all there. I mean, it's it's there. So if you want that. And that's something that, because there was, I thought, okay, my bad. I thought there was something else where you could do some adjusting with the seat or something. I think it's in there somewhere. I know I, I, know I saw something concerning the seat, but I don't know. Anyway, but as you can see, I have completely, completely changed the way that the front of this thing looks. I downloaded some wallpapers. You can use your own photos and stuff. You just have to, if you have a Google account, all that kind of stuff. Changed it from kilometers to miles per hour. So I do have a, a little dial down here. It does have quarter mile, zero sixty stuff built into it. I just got to figure out how it works. <laughs> just gonna be honest. Um, I'm probably gonna still just download the Drag Racer app. I told y'all I was gonna download in the first place. Um, and then. So let me let me just show you some stuff. So concerning this program, this is Car Launcher Pro. Okay, it's four forty nine on Google Play, and you just download it, and it basically overwrites or sits on top of the original launcher that the the tablet came with. So you go into your settings. For those that may want to change their theme, you click Edit Theme, and when I say you can change every aspect of the theme, move stuff around. It was a lot more busy. It had a whole lot of stuff on here. And I was like, ah, <laughs> I don't want to see all that. I want to see a Mustang. They had GTs and stuff. But, you know, I just I had to put a Shelby on there. Uh, shout out to my dad. has got a, a 2012 Shelby. But anyway, so I had to put the Shelby on there. So uh, it's the same color as my car anyway. So y'all be all right. <laughs> but anyway, so I got the Shelby on there. Got the, you know, the Mustang. And when I say it, this by itself is just... It's, it seems like it actually made it so much better. By, I'm, this is what I'm going to tell y'all to do. Listen to me. Buy the radio, if you like the radio, how it looks. And then download Car Launcher. Someone say, how do you do that? Okay, let me show you. Go into your apps, and you got the Google Play Store. Go into the Play Store, and you download Car Launcher. I've already got it downloaded. See, so you download it right there. Matter of fact, while we're in here... Uh, And you can see it's 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 pretty uh pretty responsive, and it's not slow. But anyway, I'll let that uh, let that install. Uh, or I'll come back and install it rather. Um, anyway, so but you saw it's it's quick. It's I mean it's it's responsive. Yeah, so you see right there. I'm on the home screen, but it's downloading down there at the bottom. It's downloading right there so anyway so just i just wanted to give y'all that quick update because when i say that it is 10 times better i already was pretty okay with the the radio but now oh yeah i'm like yeah i'm gonna tell you for sure if you want to get the tesla screen get it because that's you know it's it's that's a nice, really nice upgrade but for me what i was trying to go for with this car it really doesn't fit and so, I, I mean, the Tesla screen is nice, but it's just, it's not, I like, this car's not going to be technological like that. You know, I still kind of want it, not necessarily a stock look, because it don't really look stock, but not a, not too over the top. But I think 10.1 opposed to, um, you know, what, was, what is that one, 12.1 or whatever it is, um, it's, it's just enough. And like I said, this is $183, y'all. 
uh, on Amazon without this fascia and stuff. So you count in another hundred dollars. You not only get this to make it fit to your car, you get the you know the wiring obviously to plug it into it, and you get the AC controls and everything down there. And it's just a literal plug, plug and play, bolt in. Again, remember, all you gotta do is remove this center console, two bolts, two seven millimeters down there, eight uh, seven millimeters behind there, and boom, bada boom. <laughs> you know, everything is out of there and it's A1. So again, appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm gonna let that drag racer download and then I'm gonna do another video and just kind of test out that drag racer app when it gets uh, back uh, um, uh, dry outside and then we'll go from there. So, all right, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Sorry, I had to grab a, another uh, camera thing is not quite as good quality but it'll do okay so bluetooth is on and connected let's put something on uh, let's see here uh, just so y'all can see I just put the song on, it immediately came yeah, on. And it is loud. Immediately goes to the next song. Boom, boom, boom. See, so for those that were wait a minute. <laughs> there you go. For those that were asking about the Bluetooth, the Bluetooth works well. Uh, you know, you can make calls. You know, whatever you want to do. So. Uh, that was something else. I just want to make sure I threw that in there so y'all can see that. All right. It's not a real fool unless it's a fool. Yeah.